Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. This is the Doctor and today I'm going to play something for fun. This is the new Undine Battle Zone. This is located in the uh, Voth, well the, uh, the whole Dyson Sphere stuff. And it's located in the, um, the Undine Battle Zone area. Uh, which is, I mean, the Voth Undine, the Voth Battle Zone area, which is now the Undine Battle Zone area. Anyway, it's the Undine Battle Zone. It's the new thing that just came out in Season 9. Um, this uh, is another thing you can play along with the STFs to get Undine marks. This is Ensign Ricky. He's an engineer. Here's my Galaxy X Dreadnought. He has never done this battle zone before. And so what I want to show you is how many Undine marks you can get from this one <clears throat> battle zone because it is quite a bit. Notice right now I have zero. So at the end of it, I'll, you will see how many we have. To get to this battle zone, you just simply go to it. And then um, that's all you have to do. And it's starting right now. And hopefully um, we will have a lot of people here doing this. If not, this can go rather slow and terrible. But hopefully there will be a lot of people doing this. Otherwise, we won't have a very good experience. And this is a lot of fun when there's a lot of people in it doing it at once. And uh, the more people, the merrier. And I can already tell we've got nobody here on this node so that's not a good sign and I don't even know if there's other people on other nodes I'm gonna go ahead and get started myself and do it anyway see what happens maybe more people will come to join later on but now that that's active we just have to defend it Hopefully other people will join because there's no way I can do this by myself. Trying to do this by myself is going to be quite impossible. Because the rifts, I mean they won't, um, the progress won't go. This is going to be impossible. I'm going to go over here to the other side and see if there's anybody here. I may have to come back later because if there's nobody here then this battle zone will not work. And this has been a problem lately with these battle zones is that there's nobody You're here. At an artillery point. Deactivate groups of consoles powering the main generator for the artillery. There's one person here. We'll give him a hand. Notice I just got some uh, marks just now. Got these two boxes. So already starting off with marks. I 
guess we secured this point, huh? Okay, good. There are a couple of people here, but we're going to need definitely more. Now, th these ships that are floating out here, if you save them, which he is going to do, that um, will they will help you. They will fight on your side. So the goal is to change these uh, red things to blue things, basically. But um, this run is not not as good as others I've had because there's nobody here right now. And, uh, very few people. The problem here is, just by myself, I'm not going to make much progress on this uh, device here. There's just not enough people right now in this zone. This is what I was afraid of. For some reason, uh, you know, th this is the downfall of this type of gameplay. So you really need a lot of people to constantly be in it. and. Um, and there's not, well this person's not even doing anything. Dilithium and more marks from that one. Each time you do one, you should get marks and stuff, so... I'm gonna keep playing this. It looks like slowly more people are coming. This guy, he's just sitting here leeching. I hate it when people do that. It's no fun for anybody. Now, depending on how, how many people you have in the battle zone helping you, that will determine how fast it goes. Uh, it, it can take longer than an hour. It really can.
stuck. Uh, this can get pretty wild when you have a whole lot of people here uh, on, on these all at once. You can get a lot of undine after you and uh, that's what I find to be pretty fun. But uh, this, this is a very underwhelming run so far. But it's typical of what you can encounter when you jump into these. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it'll be a really awesome run, and sometimes it'll be a boring run that can take a very long time. And this apparently seems to be the latter. The problem is, of course, just more people need to do it. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. more people this is not a very very good run maybe they'll come toward the end but what will happen is these points will get taken back over from the undine so you may save them for now but they can be taken back over that really slows you down Progress is really being made anywhere else. So, yeah. Unfortunately, this uh, 
can happen, you know, you get uh, into battle zones like this where there's just not a lot of people. And that's unfortunate. I'm not sure what Cryptic can do to bring more people into the battle zones. Device and you get ore and uh, everything, uh, more marks from each one. Oh, see, that one's gotten taken back over. That's why we need more. We need a larger team. This is not a big and this is not enough people. This one has been retaken over. Hmm. This, unfortunately, is just one of the uh, slower ones. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed.
Yep, if you have a lot of people, this is much more fun. Somebody else joined the party, eh? And we got marks and things for that. Okay, next. Yeah. 
Right, we're making progress. Gotta move the singularity forward. Of course, I'm stuck. got this one. Finally we got some more players helping us. We're getting close to the end actually. We are making progress. And the end is not the end you think that the end is. <laughs> if that makes any sense. When we get to the quote end here, there's actually a whole separate thing we have to do that involves the Voth of all races that we can deal with at that point. Now we have, excuse me, we have to watch out because again, these points can be retaken over and that will definitely slow you down.
Oh, that felt good. Target shields have failed. Battles are getting better now that there's more people have joined up. Planet Killers now, which is good. Now the idea and goal here planet killers are is to take down the Planet Killers in five minutes. You get five minutes time to take the down planet all The Planet Killers are now active. Excuse we have me, ten, ten minutes. minutes to destroy as many as possible. Ten minutes time to take out all three if we can. Of course that's what we want is to take out all three. Warning, ship is under attack. If I could see anything, okay, there we go. Now we gotta use the singularity to take down the invulnerable shield on this thing. And, this, and then, then we can continue firing on it. So that's started. Now we have to defend this from the Undine because they will try to push the singularity back. goes a singularity once it takes care of the invulnerability shield then we can kill this planet killer and we have one more hopefully we can make it in time it's possible I've done it before you have to shoot it right in the mouth
protected bubble is down. Go after the planet killer. Okay, now we gotta take down the planet killer. Get uh, dilithium and uh, marks from that, of course. Now we have one more to deal with. I want to get it done because then we'll be successful. We'll have completed all objectives. And that'll be good. Even though it was a slow run, I would like to complete everything in it. Looks like we've already got people over here working on it. That's a good thing. It's always good to split up, really, in this mission. People don't do that so much. But splitting up helps. Okay, we got to do another singularity. This is why I wish I had a battle cloak right now. Then I could go battle cloak over here and and do that. But I don't. Planet Killer Killer. There, we got it. All three Planet Killers have been destroyed. Planet Excellent Killer Killer. I got a Tier 4 reward. Three isomorphic injections for that. The Undine good. will return, but we have... Good. Belay that. There is a massive Voth fleet inbound. Now we All have... All ships, return to the staging area. We must prepare for the Voth. Now we have to return to the staging area, which is basically where you start. And now for five minutes, we have to kill as many Voth as we can. And uh, that will then conclude the battle zone. So there's an extra little bit to um, 
earn more points here, basically. Since this run went pretty slow in the start, I might play another run at some point and record that, maybe one that's a little more active, so you can see what it's like when it's just total insanity. Because I have Destroy played a few rounds. All the primates. I have, this fear will belong to us. I have played a few rounds where it was total insanity, and that was pretty cool. It was pretty fun, actually. <laughs> Here, Vafi. Lois. Sneaky. My graphics keep disappearing. Seems to be a bug in the game, <laughs> where your graphics will disappear off and on. I wish uh, it wouldn't do that. Target shield has failed. Slowness in the video, by the way, is my frame rate taking a dive. This um, battle zone, when you have a ton of ships and effects going on like this, seems to be a really good test of your um, performance. Even with my uh, new machine, uh, my frames, my frame rate will drop to 10. Yes, 10 FPS in this battle zone. Now that is, of course, recording while recording video. But um, yeah, that can get quite annoying. So this is a real good test of your machine, that's for sure. And then the graphics disappearing. See, they're, they disappeared. There they are. Disappeared. There they are. I hate that because I can't tell if what I'm firing on or what I'm doing. So there are definitely a few bugs. Definitely a few bugs. And when, there, when there's nothing going on like this, my frame rate's at 90. <laughs> so, yeah. Big dreadnought right underneath me.
hit him with my uh, phaser lance once the shield drops. There we go. Oh, that helped a little bit. One minute left. And then we will have done the battle zone from start to finish. Yikes. I can't see what's going on. I can't move. My frame rate. Oh, this is crazy. This is what I love right here when it gets crazy like this. Four shields failing. Target shield has failed. seconds. Here we go, complete. The Voth are retreating. Hooray. More ending marks, that's more, uh, for more for conjecture, denied Voth entry, all kinds of good stuff. So, now what happens is that it starts all over again. There's a, a three minute reset. So in three minutes, you are welcome to play again. There's no cooldown. You don't have to wait. It's not a daily. You can do it. You can sit here all day if you want and run this all freaking day <laughs> and just wait three minutes between each one uh, and uh, you can rack up a lot of undine marks so the new undine battle zone is pretty fun it's quite fun well it can be if you have enough people playing it and that seems to be the biggest problem uh, about this whole battle zone thing and I guess it's the same way with the Voth battle zone but basically these battle zones rely on the player you the character also having a big enough team in the battle zone playing it with you otherwise it's not something you can do on your own and it's not something you queue up for so you're not guaranteed to have you know five players with you or ten players you get what you get when you go to the battle zone you either have one player who's helping you or you have 20 players who's helping you. So that's the big problem that is that there doesn't seem to be enough people at a time playing it. And uh, just like we ran into with uh, this run, you know, starting off was very few people and it started off kind of slow, very slow, very boring, very rough. And then, as time went on, more people came to the battle zone as it was happening. And that helped. That made it go faster. Otherwise, it goes. It takes a long time as if you only have a few people. And the, um, the areas can be retaken over by the Undine. So if you don't have a lot of people and you can't do it fast enough or quick enough, you know, you may, you may secure one zone move on to the next zone and then that zone's being taken over again simply because you can't move fast enough the idea is to have a lot of people and then split up and uh, this is a big mistake that I've been noticing in this uh, battle zone is a lot of uh, people are sticking together and not splitting up um, I saw I did one run earlier 
uh, where everybody went to one side and I was like it was me and just one other person on the right going to, to the right it's like the whole group moved to the left no you've got to split up you can have two or three like on each on each of the zones and uh, if you can do that if you can put two or three people on each of the zones trying to secure them it'll go much faster and then when you get to the planet killers also split up don't put everybody on one planet killer split up and do all three at the same time and of course that just requires you have a large enough you know team to do that and a, a, enough people playing to do that and then people that are conscious of what's going on because some people will just go do whatever they want and they will not worry or look at what the other people in the battle zone are doing and how they can help and uh, it's a very you have to be very aware of that so those so the battle zones can go horribly bad or horribly good <laughs> if that's a good thing so you know you get hopefully you can get in there and, and get a good run I have had several good runs I've had some really intense runs and then I just had this one which was not so well I've noticed late at night is not the time to go into the battle zones because there's nobody there I wanted to record this like the other night for you guys and I went into the battle zone and this is late at night there was nobody there and of course I can't do it by myself so there's a problem with that you know you can only play the battle zones when there's really enough people to make it happen and who knows when that is and who knows you know if that's going to be the case when you get there you may want to run the battle zone because that time works out for you but there may not be people in there anyway that's my big issue with it and that's just something you have to work through um, but now well, here's what I want to show you is I want to show you all the Undine marks that you can get from doing it remember we had zero starting out on this character and I'm gonna pull out uh, the Undine boxes or the uh, Undine mark boxes that we got from doing that so that 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 I think I, I, I guess if you are in one of the things that you're defending uh, one of the little uh, blocks or whatever you're defending uh, if you do it or if you are a part of the doing it you get like 10 undine marks for for each little zone but anyway look how many boxes we got remember we had nothing starting off so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine undine mark boxes nine nine remember we we are at 90 now because we got 90 we, we were at zero remember notice I showed you we were at zero zero when we started but we got um, 90 throughout doing that um, for, throughout doing that and then at the end of course you get the rewards so we got 90 for doing that plus uh, nine boxes so 90 plus 55 now I'm getting a little more I'm getting 66 because I have a reputation bonus on this is important as well I have a reputation bonus so I'm getting more than you normally would uh, I recommend that if you really need marks bad so I got um, about 66 from that box I got 12 from that box I'm um, looking at my with my bonus 10 in the box and then two more with the bonus 10 and then uh, you get two more and then another 10 so that's 12 and another 10 that's 12 so it's like 10 for each one and the 55 which turned out to be 66 was for the doing it the first time of the day getting that special the special bonus and then 10 more there so all together from this one battle zone that we just did we went from zero undine marks to 252 excuse me 252 undine marks in one run of the battle zone from start to finish 252 now that of course is with the reputation bonus which is like 20% or something that gives you like 20% uh, of 20% uh, more marks per whatever so take 252 and subtract 20% for that from that and that's what you would get without the um, without the bonuses that I'm getting but with the bonus marks that I'm getting and everything 252 from that one run that's incredible 
So you can sit there and do this all day and just earn marks and marks and marks and marks. So it's, it is a good way to earn marks, but it is long. Notice it took a long time, and especially because we didn't have a lot of players starting off, it started off real slow. And if, you, if that happens, uh, it can take a very long time, especially if those zones start getting taken over again and you have to keep going back to them to retake them over. That's going to really slow you down. This could take an hour to an hour and a half if you have a really bad battle zone going on. Or it could go really fast if you have a lot of people. It just really depends and it's that uncertainty that um, unfortunately makes it very... Um, the word I'm looking for it makes it very unstable in terms of uh, playing it because you never know when going into it if it's going to be a good run or a bad run it may turn out to be a bad run and you have to get out and then you can do it later or whatever but if it's a good run it can uh, yield a lot of undine marks for you and uh, that's very useful I enjoy it t t to be honest with you I really enjoy it it's a good test of your ship and uh, this is the Galaxy X, the Dreadnought. I had no problem staying alive in this ship playing it. Uh, I didn't feel like I was in danger of blowing up. Um, this ship, very, very tanky for it. It worked well because it has a lot of beams. Uh, that's probably a good option. I also have played this on the Andorian Kumari. And um, that ship I blew up a few times in but it does have a lot of firepower and I was able to take out Undine ships pretty fast in it simply because of the all the dual heavy cannons and everything going on there. Then I have also played this that this on the Tholian Orb Weaver and uh, did moderately well okay the um, gravity well uh, being a science team or a science character career really helps in that mission because you can grab and pull the undine ships together uh the, the tholian orb on the tholian the tholian web on the tholian orb helped a little bit but not too much i would say the gravity well was more important there and what other ship have i played this on i think that's those are the only three ships i've played it on so far um but each one had its unique advantages when doing it so it turned out to be okay it turned out to be you know not too bad um the um the uh, escorty type ships like the Kumari have the advantage of being very fast and maneuverable so they can get around better, especially those um, big yellow orbs that the uh, Undine use that slow you down. The escort ships can get around those a lot more better <laughs> than I was able to with this big slow cruiser. That was one of the disadvantages with this cruiser is maneuverability. Uh, trying to get around all that stuff. I got stuck in it a lot. Um, so each one has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, but, you know, you can do it. It's fun. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Perhaps I shall play another one if, um, if it ends up being a whole lot better and more fast-paced with a lot more people. I'll record it and I'll put it up. Otherwise, um, this gives you an idea of what you might could expect when you jump into one. And uh, it's doable. Definitely doable. Um, it's fun. Anyway, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And it's a good source of Undine Marks. That's for sure. A very good source. So the three things that I'll be doing for Undine mar Marks definitely is the Battle Zone, uh, Viscous Elite, and uh, Infiltration Elite. Those three are what I will be doing for Undine Marks. Okay, well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that or got something out of it. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.